going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That's the first step for picking a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll start as the dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles. Then we'll get 13, and then back to 14. We have a flower, one, five, seven, eight, nine in dots, one, two, three, eight in cracks with a pair of threes, one, two in bams, and a west. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the threes. So I would start there. We do have some consecutive tiles with one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. But we also have a five, even a seven, nine. So odds might work here, even though consecutive run is flexible. There's a concealed hand, one, three, five, crack. We have a gap, five, seven, nine dot, flower. With all these discards though, I wouldn't pick a hand. I would find a plan B and probably consecutive run would be a good plan B. So let's keep the two, discard the west. Here's one, two. One, two, three, and we have tiles we can pass. I think we could give up one, one, and still have options with consecutive run, and maybe one, three, five, five, seven, nine concealed. If you would have done something differently here, write pull one in the comment section below. We have a pair of flowers, one, two, three, eight in cracks, one, seven, eight in dots, three, six, eight in bams. There's a pair of ones, pair of flowers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the one. Something with ones and flowers. We could maybe do like numbers. We could do one, two with flowers. We could maybe do a little odd hand. So I would pass those. Maybe one of each suit. Right there. One, two, three would be the focus, building around the one and the flower. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull two. have a couple of jokers, a south, pair of reds, two eight in cracks, two three eight in bams with a pair of threes, pair of six dots, and a seven dot. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass?
if these were my tiles, I think I would build around the multiples, of course, but I would consider a quint. We could do three or six with reds and south. If we happen to get a six bam and a nine dot, there's a three, six, nine hand that would use these multiples. That would be the third hand down under three, six, nine. So I would start there. And for passing, I would try to do one of each suit. Two, seven, eight. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull three. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. Yes, there are singles and pairs throughout the card, but 86% of the hands on the card use pungs and kongs, and even quints with jokers, of course. So if you practice identifying the strength of a dealt hand and zero in on multiples, you can optimize your potential to win. Try this exercise at home if you have tiles. If you don't, there's a link in the video description below to where you can get a set I highly recommend from Gatman Village. Not sponsored. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.